So Nevelson, obviously one of the key artists of the gallery, uh, was with the gallery from 1962 on. And um, this is a very important work. It's part of an environment that you created in 1959 or was shown in 59 called Moon Garden Plus One. It was shown at Grand Central Moderns. It, the walls were lined with sculptures like this. There were wooden objects hanging from the ceiling. The entire gallery was painted black and there were just a few blue lights on in the gallery. So when you came inside, you were from outside, you were blinded, you could see nothing. And then over a little period of time, you became accustomed to the dark and you began to see these extraordinary ruins of some unknown civilization, like Mayan ruins, which I think influenced her a great deal. But she was really interested in making a kind of pictorial sculpture, just as Smith, um, was inspired by Picasso's um, uh, linear sculptures uh, and Gonzalez's linear sculptures. Nevelson was inspired by the um, sculptures that Picasso made of the guitars. And if you look at these boxes, it's very much like that. She's very, really kind of hollowed out that space in the same kind of cubist layering. But she's interested in, uh, it on a scale of abstract expressionist pictorial painting. And with the abstract expressionists, it was Nevelson and Smith, but Nevelson was the closest person to Rothko and Gottlieb and Newman. They were a very tight little circle of friends and she was very much the artist of choice of the abstract expressionists. But when you consider the, those first installations that she did, they were the first installation art in America. They were also the first installation art in the world after Schwitter's Merzbo. So, you know, this is a crucial artist in history. And she's also the first artist that you signed in New York. First artist in New York, yeah. How did that process happen? Well, she had been having um, an uncomfortable relationship with the Sidney Janis Gallery, which was the most important gallery in New York. And um, he had, uh, advanced her funds and she didn't want to be in the gallery and she didn't have the money to pay back the funds, uh, the advances. And I had shown her in Boston with a little bit of success and I was passionate about the work. We developed a very close relationship over a year and we had very little money then but we got everything together that we could and we paid off Sidney Janice. We got all of her works out of st his storage sent them back to her studio. So she was comfortable that she had her work back. And then a year later, she gave us an exhibition. And the rest is history.